please call forth Duke Brenners. We have Duke Brenners. <laughs> yes, you're good. Yes, I love you. Grace, you're good. My squire's side has sat her vigil, not only today, but at fall quarters where she traveled far and didn't She has been talked to by kings and queens of the known world. She has been talked to by noble peers, not only in our kingdom, but in many others. Mm -hmm. The best part, she has been spoken to by the wonderful populace we have in this mm -hmm. For being a knight is about serving you. And I believe she has done this and understands this. I would ask you mm -hmm. to Grant the honor of the word of the Ask if it's right, proper thing shall be yours. Sorry. I would beg that side be entered into the noble order of the church. Call forth the candidate. Fair Majesty, summon forth, side, Indian Donica. Thank you very much. Is there a member of the uh, royal parish who will attest to size and ability? Your Majesty, I will. I am Elizabeth Mortimer, Viscountess of the Middle Kingdom and of Eldermere. People say, what is nobility? And some would say, it's a matter of rank. In which case, I could say to you, she is a countess. And we would all nod, say, three, and I would go on my merry way. But fundamentally, nobility is about a person's character, virtues, and morals that they espouse. At the core of nobility are the ideal of compassion, selflessness, and caring for others. Sai so demonstrates this as she sat and sits as Baroness and takes care of the local people. We see this as she sat as queen and took care of the kingdom and the people of the kingdom. We see this as in the darkest of the dark times, she brought light to fighters across the known world as she <laughs> gave up her practice times so that we could be better. Your Majesties, this woman is noble, and I commend her to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a of the moral who will testify skill in the arts and sciences? <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, that is my singular honor this day. I am Tonus Van Driel, Baron of your Barony of Sternfeld, Master of the Laurel. Incorpora in the tenets of knighthood, of chivalry, 
It is necessary for one who ascends to that accolade to be a patron of the arts. See, for six months, Queen of War and Song, elevating the Bardic community to a level seldom seen in any kingdom, giving them a platform that is much appreciated, and she is much loved by that community. Baroness of Bardic, Countess Cantorum, she is most certainly a patroness. She is also a participant. But the quest to laurel, the quest to mastery in anything, is not something to just be done. It is not something to just be achieved. It is a path fraught not with just simple victories, but with pain, with frustration. The phrase, practice makes perfect, is a lie. Practice makes consistent, and if you consistently do it wrong, you get really good at doing it wrong. <laughs> Mastery comes from a step back. The humility that only comes with learning from failure, from learning from mistakes, taking a step, reassessing where you're at, and making a conscious step forward, always striving to be better, and finding those who will stand next to you, who will help lift you. And you have done that. And as you step forward, remember all that helped lift you. For as a peer, your job is to lift others. And I have no doubt in my heart that you will rise to this and shine as a beacon of ship. Your Majesties, I wholeheartedly support this elevation on behalf of the Order of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican who will speak on Sive's service? Hi, Dr. Srebaka, Lady of the Row. Lord Pelican, I'm here to speak for Thomas I had the opportunity to watch Sive grow from the first day of Thomas to her AOA, to Baroness, and then to Queen, and now to Knight. Through the journey, she brought youth and fun to the Barony, and then while Baroness, she kept the Barony engaged with fun videos, online barbecues, virtual honoring, and other activities. At the same time, she served the kingdom and the society by entertaining them with her song, voice, and voice, during the two-year struggle that we used through. As queen, she brought her song to war and raised an army of birds to entertain the populace. She spent the joy to so many others, her appreciation and participation in the things they love within the society. She is known through the known world not only as a fighter, but as a trainer and an inspiration, as an example of what is possible when you decide to follow your dream. I look forward being her strike for the to strike for the night. She will be a wonderful example for so many as a night nice Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Uh, is there a master of defense who will attempt to size courage and honor? I will do that. I am Duchess Catrin, Bradwin of Gloucester, Master of the Laurel, Master of the Melligan, Master of Defense. I have had with your oh, yes, absolutely okay. I have had the privilege of meeting Sai these many years ago when she was quite young in the society. And I have watched her joy and tenacity and courage and honor and everything with the tokens, the knight of the society. She is the most amazing woman I know. She, she has, she exhibits everything that a peer strives to be. 
Penny for them when they were on the throne for her and Louis was brought joy and and everything new to me again. And and it made the SCA reignite so many people. And I cannot express to you my joy to see this done, to see her recognized. Everyone here has said everything I was going to say. <laughs> and, and I cannot reiterate it more. And I thank you for acknowledging her grace, her wisdom, her courage, her honor. Thank you for acknowledging everything. That thank you, your grace. After hearing words from these noble gentles, we feel that we need to summon forth the order of chivalry. There, Your Majesty, summon the order of chivalry! Noble sir! Having heard the words of these nobles, it's in your judgment that side is worthy to be numbered among our chivalry, prowess, loyalty, and courtesy. Aye. I think you have some questions still with her. Indeed. Side, you have been my squire for four and a half years. You have brought great joy and great education to me. I look forward to you being a knight and continuing in my education. But I would ask and give you, he'll be back to you and ask for my health and change back from So I've right mindful of the prowess on the field responsive of the wishes of your peers, we are minded to make you a knight. Know that to wear the belt and the chain of a knight, hold a sacred trust. That obligation of knighthood will demand your efforts every moment of your life. A knight of the society must be respectful of all religions, never offending the faith of another. A knight must respect all those who are weak or defenseless, whether because of age, infirmity, poverty, or vow, and be steadfast in defending. A knight must love their kingdom and fulfill faithfully her feudal duties to their baron and to her king. Her word must be dependable beyond doubt or question. She must never flee from the face of her foes. She must be generous to all, and always and everywhere, she must be the champion of the right. The laws and the customs of the kingdom require that a knight be proud, as you have demonstrated upon the field. That a knight be courteous, as you have showed yourself to be, and as these nobles attest. And that a knight be loyal to her kingdom and the society. Side. Do you then desire to accept the burden of knighthood and swear fealty to the crown? Is there a belt? Scythe, wear this belt as a token of your prowess. Is there a chain? Indeed, your men. That's wrong. <laughs> Too many things. 
This is a fashion of the things that Morgan first wore and that each of his squires and all of those in the household wear as they fit. Thank you. I understand that there are more chains for you. <laughs> Oh, that one. Oh, that's like Your Excellency, sir. <laughs> the Middle Kingdom is blessed with many ancient and honorable traditions. This chain was passed to me by Her Excellency, Sir Fern de la Forêt. It went for me to Sir Jocelyn. I took up this chain and wore it, and when the time was right, I passed it to Her Grace. Elena of Beckingham, who took it and wore it in her turn. And she would be here today if she could to pass it on to you. But it has passed me with the honors. We bid you to wear this chain. Wear it boldly. And remember where our going. And pass it on when the time comes. <laughs> <laughs> So, I wanted to make something special for Cyrus. I have been shown this many times in its creation. It has the name of every female knight in the society. Yeah. It also has the chivalric virtues. This man created this over weeks and weeks. And it's made with love. In their basement. Side, <laughs> <laughs> so wear these chains as a token of your fealty. Now are there spurts? There are again. That's a lot of fun. There's no lineage with these spurs. Mm -hmm. Side. Wear these spurs as an outward token of your new station. I think it is fine play. I think it will serve you well. Bear your sword with strength, so dispose in your heart to goodness that you never use it to injure anyone unjustly, but always use it to defend the just and the right. Now swear homage to the crown of heaven. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom. To ever be a good knight and true, reverent and generous, shield of the weak, obedient to my liege lord, foremost in battle, courteous at all times, champion of the right and the good. I swear I, Side Indian Dharika. This duty Three here, I shall never forget. To be your liege lord. Floor. Fealty with love, valor with honor, and, and oath breaking with, with justice. <laughs> so 
time. Here are these clothes and no others. In remembrances of those given and received. In remem remembrance of your liege and obligation. Be thou a good knight. Right. Scythe, as is tradition in the Middle Kingdom, you will accept one last blow on answer as a sign of humility from myself. Here. Congratulations, <laughs> Sir Scythe. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the chivalry, please take the new side of it.